friends, me again. Welcome to our digital math classroom. Hello friends, welcome back to our digital math classroom. Miss Crystal here. Um, I'm gonna keep the video pretty short today. I just wanted to go over our mid chapter review. So please follow along and listen to the instructions um, just so that you can make sure you're doing all the questions right and you don't have to redo anything this week. Um, this is um, hopefully not too hard. Again, if you have questions, your teachers are here. So I'm gonna go right into the screen share here. Okay, we have the mid-chapter review here. It says you will need counters. Again, if you wanna use Cheerios, Smarties, Rice Krispies, glitter, I don't care. Whatever works for you for counters, you go ahead. So I'm just gonna go through these questions. And guys, guess what? Next week might be our last week of division, depending on how this goes. So make sure you're working really hard to understand this. And if you don't, make sure you're reaching out to your teachers because we are here to help. Um, so lesson one, number 1A says, can two students share six Bannock funds equally? Include a sketch in your answer. So the first thing I would do would be to look for my big altogether number. The biggest number in this Question is six, so six has to be my big altogether number. So I'm gonna draw my six Bannock funds and I'm gonna figure out, can two students share six Bannock funds equally? You could draw the circle and then cross off each Bannock fund as you put them into the groups. There's two groups. You're trying to figure out, can you share six equally? And with a drawing. Okay, number two, or sorry, 1A, 1B says, can two students share seven Bannock funds equally? Now think about it, what is my big altogether number? It's seven, I'm do, making two groups again, so I'm gonna draw my seven Bannock funds, and I'm gonna divide them into two groups. So draw my seven buns, cross them off as I put them in. You can do the same thing for up here. For, number, for lesson two, number two, it says there are eight ducks, our eight ducks are living in four ponds. Each pond has the same number of ducks. So there are equal groups. Model the ducks in ponds using, the, using counters. Again, if you don't have counters, that's fine. But I also want you to make sure you're drawing your picture, you're drawing your sketch. So again, what's my big altogether number? Eight, divided into four groups. And we're looking for how many in a group. Write a division sentence for the picture, then the answer to the division problem. That's it, that's all for page one. And then we're gonna move on to page two. So this says, create and solve a sharing story problem about three divided by three. Use counters to model the problem and then draw a picture. So again, if you have counters, use those, but you need to make sure you're drawing your picture. So your story problem was something that a couple students found difficult last week, which is totally fine because they are a little tricky to make up. Even I have trouble sometimes, but you need to remember what a division sentence, what a division problem is made out of. So you have to start by talking about your total number. Remember the total number is always your first number and what it's divided by. It could be divided by the number of groups. And then it would have to be how many are in the groups. or you could switch it around. So you could say, Miss Crystal had three, um, what can I have today? Miss Crystal had three Oreos. She gave them to three kids. The kids are the groups. How many do each kid get? Or Miss Crystal had three pencils. She put them on three desks. How many pencils were on each desk? something like that. Remember, you have to talk about your total number, you have to talk about groups, and you have to talk about how many are in the group. So which, if you can switch these up if you want, but the total number always has to be talked about in your story problem. Num lesson three, number four, says nine people were in a canoe race in teams of three. So nine is your big altogether number, and we're saying how many in a group this time? We have three in a group, teams of three. How many teams were there? So remember, this is, this is just like um, these questions here. When we have 
a number that's the total, and then we're breaking them off into groups of something. So this one asked for groups of three. So we circle the groups of three. Draw your big all together number. Remember it says to sketch and then find your teams of three. Circle them and draw your division sentence. Down here, calculate. If you can do this in your head by now, that's amazing. You can write the answers. If you're still having trouble getting this down in your head, that's where you use your counters. You get your 20 counters. You can divide them into five groups or you can divide them into groups of five. Either way, you're gonna find your answer. Same with this one, same with this one. You can also draw pictures over here or on the back if that makes it easier for you. Last one, number six. Elliot has 10 cups to stack. So he has 10 total cups. That's our big altogether number. How many towers of five cups can he make? So again, you're gonna draw your cups. You have to show your work, you guys. I don't wanna just see an answer here. Show your work. So draw the 10 cups, show your groups of five. How many groups of five? I know it says towers of five, but they mean groups. Ta groups of five, can they make? Draw your picture, and then also please write your division sentence. I know you guys will do that. I'm gonna write this up here, just so that you guys can remember what the division sentences can mean. Um, if it helps you to write this on your page, go for it. I'll just write it right next. There we go. So remember division can be the total number divided by the number of groups equals how many in a group, or the total number, always the total number first, divided by how many in a group equal the number of groups. It's all about groups, my friends. Pause the video right there if you want to write that down. Okay, everyone, that's this video. That's all I'm going to do. Um, again, if you have questions, please ask your teachers. I don't want you guys crying about this. We'll get it. You'll get it. it it gets easier, I promise. Um, please use your time this week to practice your division flashcards that I've attached. Um, we wanna get that fluency up so that I can say 25 divided by five and you know it's five like that. <laughs> Just like snapping. Anyway, I hope you guys have good luck with this. Enjoy, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.